New information in the January 6th Capitol riot investigation indicates that uh, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows very likely destroyed evidence uh, pertaining to communications he had in regard to the Capitol riots. Now, according to Politico, Cassidy Hutchinson, who worked for Meadows at the White House, has testified that she saw Meadows burn documents after a meeting with his office, at his office with Representative Scott Perry. Politico cited an anonymous source familiar with the investigation. A lawyer for Meadows has declined to comment. Now, why would this interaction between Meadows and Perry matter? Well, documents and testimony show that Perry connected with Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark, who lobbied the department to assist Trump in overturning the election. As he, as has been previously reported, Politico noted that Trump considered firing acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen and replacing him with Clark. Now, Mark just checking in, this is an interaction apparently, a text between Perry and Meadows. Mark just checking in as time continues to count down. Perry texted Meadows on December 26, 2020, 11 days to January 6th and 25 days to inauguration. We gotta get going. Now, by the way, Trump declined to install Clark as an attorney general after the Justice Department officials under his watch said that they would fire. I mean, they would they would quit, like a mass number of them would quit if he did so. But nonetheless, I mean, you have these text exchanges. Meadows has since stopped cooperating with the investigation. And now we have someone who worked with Meadows in the White House testifying that she saw him burn documents. Yeah, so there's three parts of the story that are amazing. First, obviously burning documents, maybe it's not obvious. Burning documents when you're in the White House is illegal. You're supposed to keep the records. Uh, and that is a very clear law, everybody knows. It. That's why when Donald Trump was flushing them down the toilet and ripping them up, that was also illegal. Uh, but you guys know uh, Democrats are cowards. There's a 0% chance he'll be held accountable. Right now, they say, oh, he's in contempt of Congress because he stopped coordinating. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, Nancy Pelosi? You're not gonna do anything, he's in the elites, everybody knows it. Now, the second part of it, and right wingers, I mean, you guys, you're amazing, right? So why do you burn documents? Because obviously, because they're very incriminating. You're willing to risk breaking the law because if people read what was in the documents, that is way, way worse. So, but yet you go, oh, good, I'm glad. I, why do you defend that? Imagine if Joe Biden, as he's leaving office, is burning all the documents and his chief of staff is burning the documents. What would you think? Oh, we knew it. You look at all what they did, and it was probably related to Hunter Biden. They burned the evidence. Oh, my God, right? The Republicans do it. You're like, oh, that's awesome. I love illegal tampering with evidence. Mm -hmm. And why? Well, why do you love that? What's wrong with you? There, there, there won't be any consequences. It doesn't yeah, matter. Of course. It doesn't matter. They, and, and Republicans <laughs> just generally like actually like criminals as long as the criminals are working on their behalf. Remember Nixon? Yeah, and the Republicans liked him too. No, but like Nixon seems like a pretty cool dude in today's world. No, Nixon, by the way, would have gotten away with Watergate. Easily if it these happened days. today. If it yeah. happened today, Fox News would be like, "What's the big deal?" Of course, you're supposed to break into the Democrats' offices and steal their files. Of and it wasn't him; it was G. Gordon Liddy. It was others, and they would do distraction, and then they would, and then you know what the Democrats would do? Oh no, it's okay. Just take our files. Oh. If it happened today, you yeah. know that. You know yeah. that, right? And and all the Republican voters would be like, "Yeah, steal the files. Steal the files." There's no way he would have resigned today. Lawlessness. To there's total anarchy. It's chaos, there's no law and order anymore. No law and order yeah, in and any context. <laughs> now, look, I'll give credit to, ironic credit to some people in the Trump administration, but listen to the gravity of that story that Anna told you. So Trump is thinking of getting rid of the acting attorney general because he wants to overturn the election. Everyone in the building knows that's illegal and he didn't actually win the election. The entire Justice Department staff at the highest level threatened to resign in mass if he got rid of the attorney general and put in his lackey Clark. So I'll give credit to the Justice Department people under Trump administration. They actually had some morals and they might have saved democracy. But Trump wanted to illegally overturn the election when he knew it was a lie. And that doesn't bother a single Republican. Isn't that amazing? So that's the America we live in now. Where Republicans actively root against democracy, love that their leaders are criminals, 
And and I guarantee you, if the right wing, they barely know about the story, because the right wing media, of course, will not cover it. Mm -hmm. Mainstream media barely covers it, and they're not gonna do anything about it. But if they did know about it, I guarantee you that they would be super mad at the people in the Justice Department who threatened to resign. Why didn't you just let us steal the election? If they had just been as criminal as we are, we could have stolen the goddamn election. And they'd probably threaten to hang them like they did with Mike Pence. Not joking, not exaggerating. That's literally what they did on January 6th. They chanted hang Mike Pence because he wouldn't help them steal the election. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.